Democratic congressmen and women have been under siege over the last couple of days because of the health care bill. Bricks through windows, coffins on lawns. Somebody left a message to send uh, to Congressman Stupak saying they hope he bleeds, gets cancer, and dies. Sarah yeah. Palin even tweeted, uh, quote, don't retreat, instead reload, and directed people to her Facebook page, which highlights states who voted for the bill, uh, and uh, they have little crosshairs on the folks. Now, uh, John McCain was recently on the Today Show. He said, I've seen the rhetoric target of targeted districts for as long as I've been in politics, please. Any threat of violence is terrible, but to say that there is a targeted district or that we reload or go back to, into the fight again, please, those are fine and they're used all the time. Yeah. And they are used all the time, but very rarely do you see... <laughs> do you see... Crosshairs well, yeah. with with I mean, uh, places yeah. where where to find people and I, I what's I guess what's what's got people up in arms is uh, you know we've been talking about this really all week have people lost their their sense of being American and being able to have a civil dis dis well, it's, uh, it's rather unpatriotic I mean that thing looks like an Al Qaeda Christmas card you know it's like why don't you just send the map to uh, the to Bin Laden and show it to him you know, she so says I, that I, she's so patriotic and then she does something like that hypocritical strangely I a very <laughs> strangely I agree with you that's Thank you. <laughs> good for you Sort of you. It's hurting a little bit, but I'm <laughs> getting there. I, you know, this was really disappointing to me. This is, it just shows you. This is <laughs> <laughs> the school of joy online now at www. I love myself. I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> she won't. This is. I just want to agree with you, really. Yeah. yeah. This hasn't been a, a great week in terms of, I think, like the Constitution and where it says that you're supposed to, you know, everyone, it's a mandate to have insurance. But I think the way that some Republicans are handling this um, is nothing more than purely despicable. The names that are next to and being highlighted by those crosshairs, uh, mm -hmm. I think it's an abuse of the Second Amendment and, and, and advertising. I also feel as though every single person on here is a mother, a father, a friend, a brother, a sister. Talking. And to take it to this level... Despicable. Uh, it, it's girl. disappointing to, to see this come from the party. Go and ahead. I would hope that leaders like yeah. that. You know what? But it's, not, it. it's not always disappointing. I mean, I, you know, I'm going. Let's call it what it is. You, you got all this stuff that's coming out that you, you, you know, I, back in the '60s they would spit at people. They would do this kind of thing. They would throw bricks. You know, it's such a cowardly thing. You're throwing bricks through a window. That's what people did when they put white sheets over their head, sure. so you wouldn't know who you know, they Elizabeth, were. It's dangerous. And it's this kind of stuff. It's this climate. It's this fear mongering. So when you see stuff like yes. that, and there's a, it's like a target next to your name. It incites and it just, crime. It well, incites. I, I, I would, just say thank despicable. you for doing that. Yeah. And also, John Boner should take a page from your book. Well, listen and, to his and last the last name. Republicans I mean, are not well. speaking out. <laughs> the Republicans yeah. are not speaking and, out and against I, this. And you may be the first one to do it. Yes. And I salute and you, my girl. Said, <laughs> and I want to put something out there. Because I want to I wanna put something out there to those talking heads who are still busy inciting this. Whatever comes down from this, it's hands. on your hands. Absolutely. Okay. Well, and I'm. That's right. I, yes. When you it's, say wipe when, them because out, when you say wipe them out, <clears throat> wipe them out, and when you sort of gently suggest that people do stuff, let me tell you about people who tell you to do stuff. Mm -hmm. You notice they are not doing it. The people who tell you to go do stuff, they're at home. They're not going to jail. Right. See, if you get caught throwing a brick. Shooting somebody, your behind is going to jail. Your family's going to suffer. And by the way, you know, we've seen what happens when people listen to other people. In Rwanda, it started and, with radio and, stuff. And, sure. and here, we saw planes go into to the buildings because they listened to someone who said, go and do this. Right. This is the same thing. Watch yourselves, talking heads, because this is dangerous. It is dangerous, and, also, and I think I that when you take add. rhetoric like this with someone who's powerful, I would, I would hope that anyone out there wouldn't, wouldn't take it to an extreme and take this literally, but the chance is there. And yeah. I think there's a responsibility, a civic responsibility, no matter how upset you are with how things are happening with our Constitution, with health insurance, et cetera, this is not the way That's to get right. anything but done. Can I, can I add something? Right, you know, again, violence, <laughs> violence
violence really does beget more violence. And so because the violent uh, rhetoric is coming from the right doesn't mean that it will not be counteracted on the left. And so then you'll have, you know, chaos everywhere. So the... people need to be very careful of this type of talk. Even though I believe in free speech, it's hate speech. It's not free speech. And we shouldn't take forget a, a... that health care... <laughs> we shouldn't forget that health care is the state's responsibility, and it works in England and Australia and, and, a lot and of other many countries. other countries. Well, you know, we have a constitution that, that necessarily may not cover that, but I, I, this is a shift. I'm unhappy with it. I would never put a target on a person's no, name no, no, no. or where That's they live or where they're from. Sarah Palin. It's insane. And what's that side of that? Well, she once taught me to skin a moose. <laughs> she did humanely. Yes. <laughs> Skinny is the person.